Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritually Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Sheena. Today I have for you guys an update for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, and this will just be your next seven to 10 days. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first we'll look at your current energy. So what is current energy for Cancer? Just to kind of dip our toe in. Current energy for Cancer. All right, so we have here, discovery. You are in curiosity mode, Cancer. Possibly trying to find the answers to something, being open to the answers. I think, I don't, this is Sagittarius, I believe here. Could be wrong about that. But we have discovery as your current energy. But speculation on the bottom of the deck. So you, um, your third eye may be opening, maybe a little bit more sensitive at this time. Also your heart, following your heart, um, understanding what your heart desires and seeing if you can meet those needs, get those needs met. I'm also seeing water here. You may be near the water, going near water or, um, I don't know, just something to do with water, possibly having water prominent. Well, you are a cancer, uh, but possibly dealing with the water sign as well. I'm also seeing this ship here and this palm tree, it looks interesting. Um, I don't know, This we're getting messages from trees of being very um, alive or feeling safe around trees possibly. But again, we have discovery here. So that's about being open, seeing what's out there, having almost a detached point of view, being super detached. Um, yeah. All right. What is current situation for uh, cancer next seven to ten days? Situation for cancer next seven to ten days. We have here the, uh, the emperor, the eight of wands, the three of cups, and we do have breakthrough, which is card number 11. I read card number 11 in the tarot as um strength not justice so we have your travel which is very interesting because we did have the card of discovery i'm sensing here with your current energy it's almost like you're wanting to put down roots you're almost so you wanting to uh have some a solid foundation or a solid base around you but i'm sensing here that you need to keep it spontaneous keep it light keep it very open um i'm not saying don't settle don't like uh put down roots don't have a structure around you always need a structure around you but what i'm seeing here there's something to be uncovered here that also can take a lot of energy from you i'm sensing you may be running from your problems i don't know why i'm sensing possibly running from your problems or just needing to discover your problems i'm feeling here with these cards a change of scenery a change in routine a change in a normal routine that you currently do um almost to spice it up or to um just evoke a change basically the word change came to mind I'm like okay change what's changing um almost like a change in routine a change in the way you look at things doing things your own way um asserting yourself uh in your life asserting yourself into a routine almost as well I'm feeling here that you guys or are just basically going through a change like i said already right but it's um it's almost like an undeniable change an undeniable shift happening here within the next seven to ten days you won't be where you currently are just something is really really changing here um and from a place of oh i thought this was really stable i thought this was a solid structure, you know? And yes, it is a solid structure. But again, we have traveling, celebration, and breakthrough. So they're saying don't get too comfortable, almost. Don't get comfortable because you are in a very transitory state. Um, just being spontaneous, keeping it light, understanding that there's more that you, to be uncovered. There's more that you can't see. And we also have here the world on the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant, 
four of swords and the master here so again something is coming into completion uh being structured being reorganized almost but they are saying don't get too comfortable be able to be spontaneous be able to discover being able to uh leave at any time almost it seems like just a very transitory like i said transitory period in your life all right now i'm gonna go ahead and see what your current challenge is your current energy feels so it feels just so changeable meaning like it's so unfixed so spontaneous feeling especially for cancers um i feel like you guys are more like settled homey people but this feels very spontaneous keeping all doors open keeping all options open and just seeing what's out there basically not settling down even though there's like implications of that they're saying keep a light-hearted approach keep a light-hearted mind around whatever situation that you're in all right current challenge next seven and ten days Current challenge for the next seven to ten days. All right, we have a current challenge: the seven of cups, the two of swords, and the chariot. This is about manifesting. I read the seven of cups as a choice, right? But choice is all about manifesting as well. So choices that need to be uncovered, choices from a seemingly like array of choices. That may seem be overwhelming, but I, I know that your spirit knows exactly what to do. With this chariot card here, you are you have already been given direction, I'm feeling. You've already been given um almost like the green light, basically. It's just going after it. Yeah, energy feels here very hesitant. It's like, mm, ah, am I making the right choice? Am I doing the right thing? Questioning unnecessarily. Needing to stand in your choices, standing, stand in your desires as well. And I'm also seeing the Seven of Cups, Two of Swords as like almost not you choosing to be in like disarray, but again, there's like a clear, a clear path forward basically. And you need to take it, take the clear path forward. I'm feeling with you guys almost like a dowdy energy, like just again, hesitancy, not being sure, needing to uh, assert your energy or sort assert your dis your ability to make choices. Um, just a lot of almost I'm reading this as like a page of uh, cups energy, very beautiful, very earnest, but also very stunted, almost immature. All right. So please. What is outcome next seven to ten days for cancer? Outcome next seven to ten days. All right, I'm just gonna take these two. We have with strength card popping out again, but we also we have here as outcome the fool and the high, uh, empress. Yeah, and so this is what I was saying: having that spontaneous energy around you, um, almost like being able to leave a situation anytime you want. Um, and I'm sensing here that because it was the fool first, so technically it's like this. So technically the fool is looking at this um, Empress card here, and he is charging her energy. So your abundance is being charged, your spontaneous energy is being charged. Also your feminine energy, I'm seeing that you're coming into more alignment with your feminine energy. Being nurture, nurturing, flow, ease, the ability to manifest and create. Uh, bottom of the deck here we have yeah the ability to manifest the uh magician there all right overall advice please for cancer sun cancer moon cancer rising overall advice for cancer sun too much we have here the tribe as your overall advice this is about finding like-minded people finding people who have the same goals morals um expectations values as you and you creating a container with them 
you being in a very safe, sheltered place because you are around people who are like you. And you have exchanging gifts. This card seems to be on the bottom of the deck a lot. This is about you communicating with the universe, giving and receiving, law of reciprocity. All right, so I hope you guys like this reading. Please like, comment, subscribe. You can also find me on, on other social media. Everything is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.